Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Bunston and I'm here to read you a bedtime story. The one I've chosen for you tonight is A Squash and a Squeeze by Julia Donaldson. Listen carefully and see if you can hear the moral to the story. Are you ready? Then let's begin. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Hmm. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Hmm. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Hmm, take in your pig said the wise old man. Take in my pig? What a curious plan. So she took in her pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Hmm. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, heavens alive, it was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Hmm, take them all out, said the wise old man, but then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better at last, I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you old man for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. I hope you enjoyed that, children. And did you hear that important moral? It's really important to appreciate what we've got and be grateful for it and not always want more. So anyway. It was lovely being with you here at bedtime, so sleep tight, sweet dreams, night night.